Tesla Motors, named after the genius inventor Nikola Tesla, used his evergreen invention of induction motors in their EV line. Well, not until the Model 3 came up with a superstar motor, the IPM Syn RM. IPM Syn RMs are proven to be the ultimate solution for EVs to achieve high speed performance. So let's see how the versatile induction motors compete against the latest entry, IPM Syn RM motors. The major difference between these two motors is in the rotor. To make the induction motor's rotor turn, electric currents must be induced in the rotor bars. In the case of IPM Syn RM, it is mainly the interaction between the permanent magnets and stator magnet field which makes the rotor turn. However, the induced currents in the induction motor's rotor cause a small issue. Whenever a current flows through a conductor, there will be energy loss, known as I squared R loss. This means that there will be unavoidable energy loss in the induction motor's rotor. IPM Syn RM rotor doesn't have any such current flow. The result is that the IPM Syn RMs have a 2% higher efficiency than the induction motors. This is a big deal. This higher efficiency means the motor will produce more torque and power for the same power input. Obviously, IPM Syn RM rotors run cooler due to the absence of I2R loss. However, this efficiency difference is not the only reason we call the IPM Syn RM a superstar motor. We will learn about that crucial reason towards the end of this video. Although the IPM Syn RM has superior efficiency, in its original form it is drastically weak in physical strength. Its strength is lost due to these narrow bridges. When the rotor is rotating at higher speeds, the bridges are the ones that experience maximum stress. If we increase the thickness of the bridge, it will affect the motor's electrical performance. In a thicker bridge design, you can see many non-interacting magnetic field loops are getting formed like this. These loops pass through the iron bridge portion, which does not interact with the stator and contributes to the iron losses. Due to this, the bridges have to be thinner, which puts a speed limit barrier on the motor. Beyond this speed, centrifugal forces on the rotor will create huge tensile stress in the rotor and cracks will develop on the bridges and the magnets may fall out of the rotor. However, Tesla motor engineers solved this issue by achieving a major engineering accomplishment. Of course, their Model 3 motor reaches an RPM of 17,000. Tesla engineers solved this issue using carbon fiber sleeving. Here, thin fibers of carbon fiber composite, one of the strongest materials, hold the rotor magnets together. This is why the IPM Syn RM rotor can rotate at an incredible high speed range. However, carbon sleeving a rotor with magnets is harder than you think. After being covered with fiber layers, the IPM Syn RM rotor sleeve has to be heat treated to about 130 degrees Celsius to make the sleeve shrink and adhere to the rotor. But there is a problem with this process. At only 80 degrees Celsius, the neodymium magnets placed inside lose their magnetic properties during the treatment. The Tesla Motors engineers won over this manufacturing challenge by making a carbon sleeving fabrication without the neodymium magnet losing its properties. However, we at Lessex do not have much information about the details of this engineering accomplishment. We know that they have developed an in-house carbon sheet wrapping machine designed to work on high tension loads. This is similar to an elastic band tightened around a cylinder compressing it. A similar kind of pre-compression happens in the rotor during the high tension winding. This pre-compression reduces the level of tensile stress at the high speed operation and saves the motor from material failure. Due to the support of this carbon fiber, the rotor now can have narrow bridges improving the electrical performance of the whole motor. The magnets have to face the temperature issue not only during the fabrication, but during the motor operation too. Due to this, the IPM Syn RM rotors require a high level of cooling. This is achieved by passing liquid glycol coolant from the stator core into the rotor shaft. 
The induction motors have definitely an advantage in rotor cooling. The induction motor rotors can work perfectly until the temperature limit of 100 degrees Celsius. Even though there is a huge I2R loss in the induction motor rotor bars, this temperature limit can be maintained with a simple circulating glycol cooling through the shaft. In short, the induction motors do not require precise cooling as the IPM SYNRM does. The main reason why we call the IPM SYNRM the superstar motor of the EV world is because of its torque speed characteristic. Let's consider these two electric cars. One car is fitted with an IPM SYNRM and the other is fitted with an induction motor of the same torque output. Now assume both are climbing a steep hill. When you check these motors' torque versus speed graphs, you can see the IPM SYNRM motor provides a wider range of higher torque values than the induction motor. Uphill climb means the motor has to produce a high torque. In IPM SYNRM, the car will get a high torque even with high motor speed. However, in the car with the induction motor, the motor speed has to be reduced to achieve the same torque. Now, you might be wondering why the IPM SYNRM motors have a wider torque band than the induction motors. This is because in the IPM SYNRM, the forces come from two different phenomena. One, due to interaction between the permanent magnets, and two, due to the reluctance action. At high motor speed, they increase the reluctance torque contribution by adjusting the RMF angle. This way, the torque remains constant for a wider speed range. Due to these advantages of the IPM SYNRMs, even the induction motors in the other high-performance EVs are getting replaced by them. The fastest accelerating production car of the world, Tesla Model S Plaid version, uses only IPM SYNRM motors. We hope you have enjoyed the video. See you next time. Thank you.